Okay, getting set to fly. PCR, the action track. Seven of the fastest sprint cars in the nation out there at the moment. Gary Rush and Steve Brazier, Bob Tanks make the three top liners as they race off to Rush jumps away from pole on the outside now making the run out of turn two Max Dumsney takes over second running and chases Rush down into turn three Dumsney running wheel to wheel with the master off turn four and Rush hauls it back Rush hauls back into the lead comes in full chase and Rush knows the race is on Rutley jumps out in third placing further back to Bob Tunks and Bob Hill spins Bob Hill spins and uh, brings down the Steve Brazier in the 58 car, so the Air McCaution lights out. In fact, it was Bob Hill who went halfway around but uh, gathered himself back in again to kick away and Steve Brazier, taking evasive action, ran out of noise in the number 58 car and was uh, forced to shut down there on turn two, bringing out the uh, Amber Caution lights. But Gary Rush felt the pressure then from Max Dumsney as Rush jumped he away. And it did. looked to be a case of put away the glasses, but Max Dumsney was having none of it and put a whirl on the inside of the Master Blaster heading yeah. down to three. Now you got Okay, an instant replay, but this time Bob Tanks finds that drive on the inside. It's a miracle as Tanks gets by the uh, the Rutley car 15 and Tanks goes back to the high line after securing third. A great inside pass from Tanks. Look at Gary Rush up on the cushion. Max Dunsley following suit. And now that uh, Bob Tanks has cleared the pack, he's doing likewise. One, two and three up there on the super fast great train. Gary Rush still five, maybe six lengths to the middle of uh, Max Dumbs as they sweep down the back section here at the action track. Bob Tunks calling on more horsepower. Back then to Sid Moore. Sid Moore's been doing some great things tonight in that 95 car. Sid Moore comes low, sweeps up high on the track. Bob Rutley backs it up through turns one and two. And Steve Brazier just can't seem to match the horsepower in this seventh lead. Again, the Master Blaster here at PCR sets up the ride down the back section as he sweeps through turn three, working away at the wheel, left, right, left, right, onto the main straightaway, the laps twiddling away. Max Dumsey now has resigned himself, I'm sure, to the fact that uh, he'll be lucky to even catch Gary Rush, let alone pass at this stage, but stranger things have happened at PCR, but I don't think even mighty Max Dumsey can pick up the deficit that Gary Rush has left behind him for Max Dumsey to chase. Bob Tunks backing off now and content to complete the drive in third place in car number 54, the ASAP Couriers car, as again Rush sweeps across the line. Max Dunsley keeping the right foot hard in the bucket as Arthur Cowan picks up the right flag. Gary Rush with one and one quarter PCR laps left remaining. Races on the cushion. Gets it hard again through turn one and listen to Dunsley give the number five car its head all the way to the black and white. But now only quarter a lap away from his victory tonight in the seventh qualifying heat. Out come the black and whites for Gary Rush. Gary Rush first. Mighty Max Dumsley second in car number five. And third to the Mr. Smooth, Bob Tunks in car number 54. A battle on for the minor placings now. Sid Moore in car number 95. Outpacing Rob Rutley in car number 15. And the final car to cross the black and white was Steve Brazier in car number 58.